Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to Cooking with Frank and Meeple. Today we're going to make mozzarella sticks. We're going to make loaded cheddar sticks. This is going to be something you and your kids could do on a Saturday night when you're watching movies. Before you watch movies, you make the sticks. Let me ask my friends what they think about cheddar sticks. Hey! Hey, you don't. Get over here. Ow! Oh, loaded cheddar sticks with bacon. Ha <laughs> I love bacon. Oh, let's ask Rocky. Let's ask Rocky what he thinks about loaded cheddar sticks. <laughs> Yo, homo. I, I love the sticks. Only if they're crunchy and melty. I like the cheese when it runs down your fingers, you know. But, uh, I'm just glad he ain't making chicken. Why chicken? Because I don't want to feel like a Kentucky Fried Idiot, you know? You're not a Kentucky Fried Idiot. <laughs> You're just an idiot. Guys, before Rocky starts throwing the right hook, take it easy over here. Hey, loaded cheddar sticks, mozzarella sticks coming at you. some flour, okay? We're going to need some pizza sauce to dip the sticks in. Now, for the cheddar, a lot of cheddar sticks, we're going to need bacon. You can cook the bacon one or two ways. It's up to you. I prefer to cook it in the oven. I put it on a sheet pan, put it in the oven on 350, and cook it to the, uh, like this I want it. You want it kind of crispy, but not too crispy. I'll show you why later. But anyway, we're going to need some bacon. We're going to need oil for frying. We're going to need regular breadcrumbs and panko. There's some cheddar cheese. You can use right mild cheddar or sharp cheddar. I prefer sharp cheddar. You're going to need some sour cream and chives. First thing we're going to do is make our sour cream. You can get these. Shop right, 99 cent. You'll have enough chives. Cut both your ends off and then you just chop, chop it down. Just run your knife right through it. There you go. Chives are cut. Grab a bowl, open your sour cream. I'm gonna make sure it's open. Give it a little stir before you throw it in. Get it out. It's a uh, 16 ounce. Throw your chives in, just throw them all in. Just at 1.99, just at one package. It's, it's plenty, it's, perf it's a perfect amount. Just mix it up in there. Mix them up really nice in there. After you make it, let it cool in the refrigerator until you're ready for it. After you cook your bacon, get all the grease off it, and then, you know, just run your knife through it like that. Just cut it into pieces and throw it in your food processor. And throw it in your food processor, and we'll come back to the bacon in a bit. So the bacon can hang out in there for a little bit. A mozzarella is open, so we're just going to cut it down. You can cut it down any way you want. You can slice it, whatever makes you happy. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of chop it like that and just boom, right in half. Nice, big, meaty sticks. Now you can make them smaller, you know. Put this mozzarella to the side. and we'll get our cheddar. Again guys, it's up to you how you want to cut it. I'm going to try to go for the same thing that I got over there. So, come on. Chop that down like that. Make nice little sticks. Well, they're not little, you know what I mean? They're pretty big. And they're going to, oh my god, they're going to be so yummy. So, we're going to chop it up. Them up. They're nice size. Look at that. These are gonna be woohoo! They're gonna be yummy. Very yummy, yummy in my tummy. Can't wait till this comes together, guys. Alright, we're gonna put our cheddar together. Cheddar together. 
cheddar together. We're gonna do the mozzarella first. Save the best for last, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bread these babies up. I started off with five eggs. Five eggs in a bowl. Scramble it up really nice. Your eggs are scrambled. You wanna get some flour. And you wanna get some, I like using seasoned breadcrumbs. Just dump your breadcrumb in there. Doesn't matter if you put too much, because we still got our cheddar to do. So let's throw these in here. Alright? We're gonna coat them first. Coat your mozzarella first in the flour. Then we're gonna do the egg. Then back into the flour. Because you want a nice jacket on this. Nice flour, nice jacket. Put it back into the egg, into the breadcrumb. You want it nicey nice. You want to make sure it gets nice and coated. Nice and coated. Guys, don't forget. Don't forget, guys, you want to go to the Broken Goblet Brewery, the 14th. Mach 22 is going to be there. Mach 22 will be there, and the meatball will be there. Stop by, buy me a drink, we'll shoot, we'll shoot the stories, right? Maybe we even talk about putting you on the show. You want to come on the show, you want to give me a recipe, you want to do a recipe for all the meatball maniacs? Come on down, guys. Come on down. So, you want to make sure that you have a really nice, nice breading on here. Because you, you don't want the cheese to ooze out. Hey, my fingers look like uh, mozzarella sticks, huh? Hey, they don't taste like them. Unless you're into that, you know? All your mozzarella sticks are done. I put them on a half sheet pan. I put some uh, breadcrumb on it. Stuck them in the freezer for now. Because you want them to chill before you fry them. You want them to chill about an hour. So that's a good time to get your movie started if you're doing it with your kids, you know. It's a good time, you know, just to relax and give it an hour and then uh, fry them up. To make the breadcrumb for a load of cheddar sticks. Remember the bacon that we uh, put in here before? You take a piece, you taste it, make sure it's not poison. Mm. Love bacon. So you put it in your food processor. Just pulse it up a little bit. You want your bacon nice and small because it's going to mix with the panko. Now you grab your Franken meatball panko and you throw her in. Throw her in just like that. Just like that. Okay, we're going to mix her together. I'm going to put a nice good mix in there. Okay. You put your panko in, you want to throw a little bit of dry parsley in. Because it's plain, okay? I'm going to throw a little bit of that in there. We'll do a little pepper. And a little bit of salt. And then we're going to mix it up. Now the breadcrumbs ready. You coated all your cheddar. Just want to make sure you give, her, give them a really nice knock and get, get all the excess off. Throw it into the egg wash. Back into the flour. Make sure you get a really nice coat on that. Okay? Throw it back into the egg and then into the love. Get that love nice and coated around that cheese. Nice and nice and nice and nice. Now if you see some bold spots, you can always throw it in the egg a little more. You want to make sure it's nice. You want to make sure it's nice and coated because if not, that cheese is going to fall out into your oil. You're just going to make a big mess and you're just going to be frustrated. So don't be afraid to dip it back into the egg and, and, make, and make it nice. Hey guys, my mouth is watering already. Hey Elmo, what do you think? <laughs> Cheddar sticks! <laughs> what I did here, guys, 
guys, I got a half sheet pan. I line it with some regular breadcrumb, put the mozzarella sticks down, then cover them with some uh, breadcrumb also. I'm gonna do the same thing with these. I'm gonna just put these down here. These monsters. You wanna, you wanna get yourself a half sheet pan, okay? To, to have them chill on. And we're just gonna just throw it out on top of the cheddar sticks. We got our cheddar sticks, we got our mozzarella sticks, okay? Now, we're halfway there, guys. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna stick this in the freezer for about one hour, and tell you what, I'll see you back in an hour. It's been about over an hour. I left it in a little longer, I got a little busy doing something. You probably got a little busy picking out a movie, starting to watch a movie. Now your movie's on pause, now you're ready to go. We got the sticks probably nice and frozen by now, okay? Now it's time to get your fryer ready. If you have a, a home fryer, it's great. Put your fryer on 350, heats up to 350, boom. What I got is a home a homemade fryer, okay? You can use something that's deep, you can use a, a big pot, a small pot. Right here I got a, uh, a barbecue thermometer here and uh, you know, got it on. If you, got a, if you have a um, fryer, you want it on 350. Our oil is in, we got our thermometer on, or you got your thermometer in, whatever you do. We want to get this up to 350 Fahrenheit. So, this is going to heat up. It's going to take maybe 10 minutes, maybe shorter. We're going to be dropping the sticks in. So, make sure you have everything you need. You want what I did here. So, I got a half sheet pan, put some paper towel on there. Got the rack that I used to cool my wings. You guys remember, okay? I put that right on top because what we're going to do, we're going to put the sticks on here and let the grease drip down, okay? Let me tell you about Will Max. I know you guys already know this not anything new but guys it is the holiday season they got these beautiful serving dishes hey you saw it with the muscles right look at these dishes the bowls i mean look at these bowls these dishes i'm telling you these dishes are amazing salt pepper shakers look at these salt pepper shakers oh huh? look at that they have fit in with the toothpicks look at that beautiful wilmax.com guys over here you want your gravy boats, everybody wants a gravy boat. It's a gravy boat. You put gravy in it, you put cheese. Like I always put cheese in here, you know what I mean? I always put cheese in my gravy boats. Guys, again, Romax.com. Check them out, they got something small, get something big, whatever you want, I'm telling you, they are absolutely marvelous. Let's see what temperature we're at. We're at about we're at about 202 Fahrenheit. Okay, don't worry about that number. We want this number to be 350. Let's give it another minute. We got some mozzarella sticks. And there we're gonna put our big bowl. We're gonna put our big cheese sticks in. Look at that. Cheese sticks in. We got cheese sticks in, the mozzarella sticks in. You could use either tongs or uh, or the spoon. The spoon I usually use for the small stuff. These things are monsters. What are these things, huh? Look at that. Huh? Look at that. That's monsters. I can't thank you guys enough for for your subscriptions, for your likes, for your comments, guys. I, I really appreciate that. I want to let you know, guys. It's very great having people like you watching my show, tuning in every single week. Even if it's something you don't even like, you just watch it to watch it. I I appreciate that very much. Touches the, touches the heart, guys. All right, look at that. Nicey, nice. I'm going to leave him in for another minute or so. That is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. The cheese is starting to ooze out. We're going to give that another minute. Alright guys. 
Look at that. Nice color. Look at that color, huh? I'll put that there. I'll just take that out. A little bit of the cheese is oozing out, which is good. We know it's melted, guys. Look at the colors. I think that's nicey nice. Guys, without this guy here, this show wouldn't wouldn't be a show. He, he was a motivator. He's an aggravator. And uh, I just want to thank him and let you guys know, the guy behind the camera, let's give it up. Give him a comment. Let him know what you think of, the, uh, uh, of, uh, of his work. Let him know what you think of the show. Give him some support. He's the guy behind the camera. He's the guy behind My favorite part of the show is where we get to plate this up and eat it up. Boom. Let me try. Let me try. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. To be honest, the cheddar could have been a little more um, melted, but that's alright. I taste the cheddar. I taste the bacon, the sour cream with the chives. I taste it all. It is really good. Mmm. Guys, this is amazing. Really good. The mozzarella sticks, they came out nicey, nice. Oh. Look at that cheese, huh? You got your loaded cheddar sticks. You got your regular mozzarella sticks. Guys, you got to try this. Do it on a movie night with your kids. Get your kids involved. They're, they're going to like bread in this stuff. It is great, guys. You need to do this. I'm telling you, this is going to rock your world. Guys, email me your address so you can get a Cook of a Frankie meatball sticker. So you can stick it wherever you want. You put it on your car, your refrigerator, on your head. But it's not sticking, guys. Again, go to bonfire.com. Get your shirt. Bonfire.com. Cook them with Frankie Meeple. There's only a couple days left for that shirt, guys. You need to get your shirt. Support the Frankie Meeple cause. Once they're going, they're going. Once it is over, it's over. Guys, we got Wilmax. We got Mach 22 at the Broken Goblin on State Road. December 14th, guys. Check them out. Check out this recipe. It's amazing. Guys, again, thank you for your support. If you like what you saw, hit like and subscribe. And I will see you next week on Cooking with Frankie Meatball. And guess what, guys? That's right.